Hi, Neil from EA Media here. When you're working as a security architect, you need to also keep in mind that when you select vendors, you have to align the vendors you select with their strategies that you're trying to work towards. And that's what today's video is all about. By the way, if you like this video, please click on subscribe and that way you can help build the EA Media community with this YouTube channel. So today I read a story in CSO Online that was talking about how larger enterprises are starting to consolidate their vendors. It listed Cisco, IBM, Symantec, and McAfee as vendors that are starting to lead in mindshare, but that the consolidation activities are just starting. To me, this is a question that has long come down to one question. What is your vendor's strategy? I came up with a concept a number of years ago when I was working with BC Hydro to consolidate vendors for a number of reasons, but primarily because I wanted to start influencing the vendor's roadmaps. Considering that I had a number of different technology strategies, depending on which areas within security I was focusing on, I had different directions I wanted to take BC Hydro. But I didn't really see any vendors that had solutions that met the direction I wanted to go. So I had to come up with a vendor strategy. I sat down and I started to think about the approach that we were going to take for vendor selections. There are really three ways that organizations can take for selecting the vendors that they're going to work with. The first way, and probably the most common but definitely the most problematic, is that the individual lines of business will choose a vendor product because they are sold on it by that particular vendor. They then go to the IT department and say that they want a project initiated to implement that particular product. It's not necessarily the best product, and the line of business will not have done a proper job of selecting what product is best for their needs. But they saw something fancy and bought into the shiny new object. The second way you can go about selecting a vendor is the best of breed approach. This approach is where you will collect the requirements of your project, evaluate the various vendor products that meet those requirements, and then choose the vendor. You'll end up with a product that best fits the needs of that project, but doesn't necessarily meet the strategy for the organization going forward. There is a bit of a dependency on the project actually aligning with the strategic direction that you, as an enterprise security architect, will set. But, at the end of the day, if the project's implemented, it should meet the tactical requirements of the stakeholders. I would suggest that, from a vendor strategy point of view, this is probably the most common approach that enterprises take. The third way that you can select a vendor is one that I actually think allows the larger enterprise to influence the vendors. And that is to go with the best suite approach. In this case, rather than look at the individual products that a vendor creates, you look at the entire suite of products and decide if you want to truly partner with that particular vendor. Yes, there will be better products out there for specific areas, but the integration won't be as easy, theoretically. Your total product purchasing costs won't be as low. You will have more vendor management overhead with the procurement department, and you don't have the access to the vendor's roadmap. Security people prefer, from a purely security perspective, to have different products and vendors in the environment, simply because a common flaw won't be available to be taken advantage of. But there's a balance, because you also have to consider the knowledge that comes with a product suite. The more diverse the product range, the less the chance of understanding the products properly, and the higher the chance for a misconfiguration enabling an exploit. Hello, Amazon Web Services? My advice to you is to think long and hard about how your vendor selection strategy aligns with your technology strategies, and remember that there are more aspects to security than just technology. There's the process and the people aspect as well, and going with a best suite vendor strategy may actually make your enterprise more secure. 
You'll need to sit down with the procurement group to figure out how to move forward with an unbiased manner, but it can work for you. That's it for this video. If you like this video, take a look at some of the others that we have on here, including these two I've just highlighted. Well, this is Neil Rare for EA Media, and I hope that helps.